Leviticus chapter 7. Likewise, this is the regulation for the guilt offering. It is most sacred. The place where they slaughter the burnt offering, they shall slaughter the guilt offering, and its blood shall be splashed against all sides of the altar. All its fat shall be offered, the fat tail, the fat covering the entrails, the two kidneys with the fat on them near the loins, and the long lobe of the liver, which is to be removed with the kidneys. The priest shall burn them on the altar as a food offering presented to the Lord. It is a guilt offering. Every male among the priests may eat it. It shall be eaten in the sacred place. It is most holy. As is the sin offering, so is the guilt offering. They belong to the same law. The priest who makes atonement with it shall have it. And the priest who offers anyone's burnt offering shall have for himself the hide of the burnt offering which he has offered. Every grain offering baked in the oven and everything prepared in a pan or on a griddle belongs to the priest who offers it. Every grain offering, whether mixed with olive oil or dry, shall belong to all the sons of Aaron, one as much as the other. This is the law of the sacrifice of peace offerings which one may offer to the Lord. If he offers it for a thanksgiving, then he shall offer with the sacrifice of thanksgiving unleavened cakes mixed with oil, and unleavened wafers spread with oil, and cakes of well-stirred fine flour mixed with oil. With the cakes, he shall present his offering of leavened bread along with his thanksgiving sacrifice of peace offerings. From it he shall present one of each offering as a contribution to the Lord. It shall belong to the priest who sprinkles the blood of the peace offerings. The meat of his thanksgiving sacrifice of peace offerings must be eaten on the day it is offered. He shall not leave any of it until morning. But if the sacrifice of his offering is a vow or a freewill offering, it shall be eaten on the day that he offers his sacrifice, and on the next day what remains of it may be eaten. But what is left of the meat of the sacrifice on the third day must be burned up in fire. If any of the meat of the sacrifice of his peace offering is eaten on the third day, it will not be accepted. It will not be credited to the one who brought it. It shall be an abomination, and the one who eats of it shall bear his iniquity. The meat that touches anything unclean must not be eaten. It shall be burned up in the fire. As for the meat, everyone who is clean may eat it. But the person who eats meat from the peace offering sacrifice which belongs to the Lord, while he is unclean, that person shall be cut off from his people. If a person touches anything unclean, whether the uncleanness of a human being, or an unclean animal, or any unclean, detestable thing, and then eats the meat of the peace offering sacrifice which belongs to the Lord, that person shall be cut off from his people. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, You shall not eat any fat of ox or sheep or goat. The fat of the animal that dies on its own and the fat of what was torn by wild beasts may be put to any use, but you must not eat it. For whoever eats the fat of the animal from which an offering by fire is offered to the Lord, the person who eats it shall be cut off from his people. Moreover, you shall not eat any blood, whether it is from birds or from animals, in any of your dwellings. Any person who eats any blood, that person shall be cut off from his people. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, He who offers the sacrifice of his peace offerings to the Lord shall bring his offering to the Lord from the sacrifice of his peace offerings. His own hands shall bring the offerings of the Lord made by fire, the fat with the breast he shall bring, that the breast may be waved as a wave offering before the Lord. And the priest shall burn the fat on the altar, but the breast shall be Aaron's and his son's. Also the right thigh you shall give to the priest as a heave offering from the sacrifices of your peace offerings. He among the sons of Aaron, who offers the blood of the peace offerings and the fat, shall have the right thigh for his part. For the breast of the wave offering and the thigh of the heave offering I have taken from the children of Israel, from the sacrifices of their peace offerings, and I have given them to Aaron the priest and to his sons from the children of Israel by a statute forever. This is the consecrated portion of Aaron and his sons, from the offerings made by fire to the Lord on the day when Moses presented them to serve as priests to the Lord. This is what the Lord commanded to give them by the children of Israel on the day that he anointed them, by a perpetual statute throughout their generations. This is the law of the burnt offering, the grain offering, the sin offering, 
the trespass offering, the consecrations, and the sacrifice of the peace offerings, which the Lord commanded Moses on Mount Sinai, on the day when he commanded the children of Israel to offer their offerings to the Lord in the wilderness of Sinai.